I think we're recording. Yep. It's Thursday, but it's Wednesday, but it's Thursday. BSC time. Yay. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are we all doing today? Welcome to the Thursday edition of the VSC because we're a day off. Yes. And yes, I'm going to wig out. I feel like the, no, the cameras are it's fine. We did we did an we did a side by side show yesterday. So now I'm trying to readjust to what this looks like in the shop. And I'm like, did it used to look like this? It's only been yeah, like a week. It did used to look like this. Okay. And the other thing that could be throwing you yeah. off, yes, is um that hole. Oh, that oh, the hole's bigger. bigger. <laughs> the whole group. What? Um, hi, everybody. Um, and it's, yeah, we're trying to do Wednesday's show on a Thursday. It's just, I'm going to be so out of it today. <laughs> and I did have it coffee, is, yeah. but I was running out of coffee, but I still had a cup. Yeah. It just wasn't a big cup. It's, it's so, a weird day today. So bear with us all. Hi, I'm Rebecca. I am the owner of Sun Dragon Art and Fiber in Brevard, North Carolina. I'm Liz. I'm the minion at Sun Dragon Art and Fiber in the park. I was taking my phone out of my pocket so I could see what time it was to start and so that I knew how long we'd been going if there was a question later on. Okay. Sorry, it was in my pocket. <laughs> I, I'm having issues today. Oh, yeah, well, it's, <laughs> it's, it's Wednesday and we're a day behind on filming this week, so it's just going to make us all funky. twitchy. And twitchy, that's the word for it. Yep. And now Liz gets to see what I saw yesterday, which is the, the Breakfast Mountain Breakfast Club. The Breakfast Mountain. She met Bracken Mountain. It's Thank all you. good. The Bracken Mountain Breakfast Club. It's a tongue twister. So I twist it up. Um, they are right in front of us. Anyway. Um, so it's time to show you cool things we have in the show. And I believe a week or two ago, might have just been last week, because time doesn't exist in normal fashion anymore. Yeah. Um, we did a lot of yarn and very little in terms of notions. So we're going to do some notions. Notion heavy show today. Hey. Because everyone needs notions. Well, and it was a week or two ago, we had piled the yarn we're going to profile today yes. in front of the, the camera just because it was convenient. And people went, mm. And so Rebecca started a project. If you watched the show yesterday, you got mm -hmm. to see that. And so we're going to talk With about that yarn, yarn today. Mm -hmm. And is some, yeah, it's been, it's weird. Like, it's, it's just bear with us. Yeah. We're going to be out of it today because, you know, 4th of July holiday um, and delays in filming this week and trying a side-by-side -side show yesterday, which was just so retro for us. <laughs> So now it feels like it really, it's been a it felt week. like three weeks ago. I know, but it's been a week since we've sat down and filmed together yep. here. Yep. So it just, everything feels weird. Yeah. That it's July feels weird, you know. Anyway, so, so let's show you some stuff. How's everybody doing today? <laughs> that's a, that's a question for you all to fill yourself, just mental check with yourself. And let us know. We would we'd yeah. actually like to know how you're doing. We've had people say hi on our posts. It's really fun. So, and I keep whacking the table. I hope. I hope. Our oh, new it's going to come across as the biggest thump ever. I am. <laughs> I am. Um, I watched the Hamilton um, video, the the movie version mm -hmm. of Hamilton, a couple nights ago, and I I hadn't realized. I've seen it once, and when it came to Greenville with a different cast, but seeing with the original, realizing how much of the percussion some of the songs come from them banging on the table. Cool, but I don't want to do that to you all. So, um, anyway, I digress. That's not a thing. So, do we want to talk about yarn? Let's get the yarn out of the way. I mean, not that it needs to be gotten out of the way, but then we can just go like whole. We have a lot notions. of notions. We have a lot of because we ordered some fun ones. We're actually not even showing off all the fun things we we ordered, but we're showing off some of the necessities. So, yarn first. I talked about it yesterday, that I am making what I consider one of the easiest triangle shawls ever. Pearl Soho's tri um, Triangle Garter Wrap, it's called. So garter means that you're knitting every single row of this. There's no pearls. 
Yay, Yay Liz. <laughs> Makes Liz happy. Very. Uh, <laughs> it starts at the bottom with only a few stitches, and by row three, it the setup is is set, and you are basically slipping a stitch, knitting to the last two stitches, knit front and back. I have a video on that. Knit the last stitch, turn it around, slip the first stitch, which just gives you slipping the first stitch gives you a nice edge. A nice edge without bumps because there's bumps everywhere on this. That's that's what garter feels like is bumpy and squishy. It's so slipping squishy. the first stitch, which I also have, I believe, a video on that. It's it's probably part of my video of how to change colors. Uh, when you're using two colors on the papillon, also talks about how to slip that first stitch and have it look nice. Um, but ask us, slip the first stitch, knit to the last two stitches, knit front and back, knit the last stitch. So every row gets one stitch there. And as you can see from the yarn we're about to show off to you, depending on how many stitches you have, the color striping of the Noro gets thinner. We, we have another sample in a different color. Mm -hmm. Yes. That so this, yeah, go ahead. You did just stocking it with some garter on the edges mm -hmm. just for a sample, but this is a different colorway. That's our rainbow. That's this one right yep. here. And take a look at that. Let's pull these up next to each other. Like, you might not have imagined that this would turn into that. But one of the things that Noro Yarn, we show that off to you right there. One of the things that Noro Yarn is known for is their long color sections. So kind of stripey looking, little bit of fadey between the stripes, but this is their most colorful one of this yarn and it knits up like Liz just showed you. The one I'm knitting with looked like this. Here, can you hold that? I can hold that. Oops, there we Oops. Go. It, this in the, in the skein, in the twisted, very loosely twisted skein, um, Noro loves to be, to be like, under processed they call it not over processed yarn it the one that that i'm knitting with that liz is holding up right now twisted skein in the cake when you wind it up stay <laughs> and then knit up take a look at that so any of the colors you see like take a look at the ones in front of us the one liz is holding up is over there yep there you have an idea of how these colors are going to, depending on the width of what you make. If you're making a sweater, I wanna make, I'm actually in process of making Brian a sweater out of these neutrals. Take a look at that. Ooh, neutrals. Ooh. Neutrals, but they kind of have a greenish grayish tinge to them. Yeah. Um, the rainbow colorful one. I'm gonna move these over. Um, the one that Liz, hey Liz, you want to hold that up a little closer to the camera? Look at that. Um, it's up like this. If you're making a sweater, you're going to have thinner stripes. If you're making a hat or something like that, you're going to have thicker stripes. You're going to have thicker stripes on your sleeves if you're making a sweater. True. So. Well, and well, it, but it also depends, I find, because like with the baby sweater we showed off the other week, um, some sweaters, some the sleeves at the top, will be almost as wide as like a shirt front. It's yes. just, things get weird. Anyway, yeah. um, if you're yeah. making some a cardigan, you're gonna have different thickness of stripes on each side than you are on the back, because the back is wider. Yeah. Um, so while, so Liz is gonna read stats and I'm gonna show off some other colorways. Okay, so for the 100 grams, you get 240 meters, uh, which is like 260 yards, something like that. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not, math great yet on meters <laughs> to yards so um, meters to yards to do a rough calculation in your head add 10 percent yeah uh it is 77 percent cotton and 23 percent fomite they're recommending a us six for a needle or a 4.5 millimeter um yeah that's price Price is $18.95. From our shop, 100 grams, $18.95. Noro tends to run, so Noro is a Japanese company that, that's known for their just their awesome, amazing, crazy colors with occasional neutrals. Yep. Um, my COVID cardigan, my Carbeth cardigan that I made a while back, but I don't have it here because it's hot out now and I made it out of bulky yarn. 
that was a neutral neuro yarn. So go back and look at our earlier VS, um, not VS, well, it, we did a VSC on Bachi and Ito, which were neuro yarns in big 200 gram cakes. So, and they're usually known for like Curryon. They're known for these yarns silk that are, garden. that are the Silk Garden, 100% wool or a wool right. combo. Thin, thick, you can see that as you're looking at these, a little bit of thin, thick quality to them. Um, loosely spun, they're often single ply. So this is only one ply of yarn instead of multiples twisted around each other, which will give a totally different look and feel. Um, this is in their line only of the past, I want to say since I opened my yarn shop three years ago. Yeah, they did, did Mirai. They, they started making cotton ones. Yeah, they did mm -hmm. Mirai's cotton, mostly cotton. Mm -hmm. And then... Or cottons with no wools, because yeah. they had the yarn called Tayo before, and they still have it, which is a cotton wool blend with a little bit of synthetics and polyamide. Um, but yeah, Mirai, um, so, is it Sorata, Sonata? Sonata. Sonata. I get them all confused. Um, and then this one is Mishiki, is what we're showing off today. They are cotton and synthetic blends, but that means that, that they aren't quite as heavy for spring and summer yeah. or for fall. The, the Sonata mm -hmm. was solid. Yes. And we only have a very tiny little bit. We started left. moving yeah. that out of the shop. So we've yeah. got some in the sale bins for the surprise new sale bin support box. Mm. So, um, <coughs> thank you. I felt that coming. So I, I sneeze into my mask. That'll make it fun to wear later. Um, I had a yarn tickle from some of this Ooh, in my nose. Anyway, so um, I just I think it's a fun one for summertime. Yeah. And and I'm knitting on I want to say like a seven right now or an eight. It would feel so comfy on a nine or a ten. It's considered like a DK weight. Yeah. Um, Noro often gets classified by its thicker chunks. So there's parts of it that will not be that thick. But the, if you knit it on a bigger needle, it'll be more open. So not only will it, the, it not have the wool that will try to trap the warmth in, but then you can let air circulate through it. Wonderful. Wonderful for summer. There you go. Awesome. So that is the yarn that we are showing off today. And you can, you can lovingly look at all the colors while we start talking about some new shit. No shits. No shits. I well, love no shits. I've got a pile in front of me, I guess I'll You wanna start? I'll start. Okay. So we um got some new needle gauges in. But why don't we talk about the, the ones we already have? Yes. Okay. She already had plants, sorry. Uh we got some new needle gauges in and I'll show you those in a minute. But these are our two needle gauges that we've I brought out an open one. Where'd it go? Oh. It's right. Here. It's hiding under the yarn. Yeah. So this is our little yarn ball. It looks like a yarn ball on we'll talk about it and one side. And then it's got the needle gauges and I want to say it's $4.95. It's like, yeah, it's just under five dollars. So yeah. cute little looks like a yarn ball on one side. There ha lists the um the needle sizes on the other. I should say, here's how you use a needle gauge, right? You oh, I might grab something else in a second. Um you can go from, from big to small or small to big. But if I went from, from, I can hold it like this. I'm gonna keep going until it fits through one of these. Almost. Let's see, six. Oh, there's a seven. Seven. I'm looking at the side where I can read it. It fits comfortably, snugly into the seven. It didn't fit into the six, so I know, I verified that and I'm knitting with a seven. That one goes up to what size? This one goes up to, um, and by seven I mean a US seven. It goes up to a US 11, which is an eight millimeter needle. Then we have the Susan Bates Knit Check, which has a little bit more information Super on it. Super functional. Yes. It, um, you want to oh, okay. pull this part. It has uh, not only your needle sizes, and it goes from a US 7 or crochet hook B all the way up to a US 50. Um, yeah, this one, this one was redesigned for like the big chunky knitting. So it, look at that huge hole. It oh. has millimeters and inches going across the top and bottom, and it has a uh, window mm -hmm. to check your gauge. Which is, I think, really, I mean, this is, this is my functional go-to. 
And how much is this one? This one is $2.65. Okay. This one has um, knitting needle sizes for US sizes up top. It's got crochet hook sizes at the bottom. Now, some crochet hook sizes are a little wonky, so Depending it doesn't on, work yeah. for everything. What Liz is talking about with the, the gauge, like this hole here, it's two inches across by two inches high. You can lay that on top of your knitting or crocheting when you knit a swatch and, and count your Vs or count your stitches. And most patterns will talk about so many stitches for four inches. This is two inches. So you can count it and multiply by two. Math. Very functional. How much again? $2.65. Very functional, very affordable. I have like 10 of these. And usually I can't find any of them. So I have you know, more. Yeah. You know. So last price in order, which was what? Tuesday. Mm -hmm. We got Chowru, um gauge check thing. Gauge check, you know, mm, gauge. And it has, I told Rebecca, it has so much information on it. It's almost overwhelming. It goes from triple zero all the way to a 15 for the needle gauge. So it doesn't, along. doesn't go to the huge size as this one does, but if you don't knit with super bulky chunky yarn, yeah, you might not need all the big, huge holes in this. On the front, Side, it is a knitting needle conversion chart, so it gives you the lists of all the knitting needles. And then underneath that, it gives you a list of both the numbered weight system. Thicknesses and of yarn. Thicknesses of yarn, and then the, the types or what other people would call those numbers, like worsted and DK and super bulky. It's a whole reference guide. It's a reference like guide. Liz isn't even done talking about what's on here yet. Yeah. And then there's a four inch window. I feel like, but wait, there's more. Yeah, there's a <laughs> four inch window so, to check your row gauges up and down. So up. to count the whole four inches. So you don't have to map. You put that over your knitting or crochet and just count what's in the window. Does it match what your pattern is saying should be for four inches? But wait, there's more. <laughs> because Throw that's just a set of steak knives. That's this. just <laughs> the front side of this. <laughs> On the back side, you have your uh it's needle. a crochet size it's side, a crochet right? you can but it's also millimeters okay so you can use it it tells you what your crochet hook would be or what your millimeters for your um needles are okay diameter of needle diameter yeah. of needle and then it has centimeters instead of inches mm -hmm. so but not everyone uses inches we yeah. are in the u.s but not everyone uses inches and not all patterns use inches well wait there's more <laughs> <laughs> then it has a crochet hook conversion. So, like it, US like the, and UK sizes? The needle, the needle okay. side is one side, and the crochet hook is the other side. And crochet it is, friendly. It is metric, US, and UK Canadian sizes. So, oh, that's awesome. it tells you. Because everyone know. has their own way of labeling things, and people are like, but I, eight millimeter. I'm like, no, no, US eight. And it's not eight millimeter because people are weird. The knitting side has metric, US, and UK Canadian. That's awesome. sizes and then it also has all of the weights and mm -hmm. member system for yarn so it is so much a huge amount of information i told rebecca it's almost as much as her intro to knitting or intro to crochet class yeah and these are 1350 mm -hmm. for so so this one's like less than three bucks and that one's 1350 but there's so much information on those so this is functional um, if, if you've already absorbed or know all of that kind of stuff, but I find like that, that is like a whole book's worth of information or multiple websites worth of information on, on one little guy yeah. that you can keep in your book, yeah. you can keep in your pattern guide, you know, whatever you want. I think that's fantastic. So I'm really glad we brought those in. Um, I'm going to try to get these up on the website later. However, I do have to warn people. I mean, I, but we're not done. But I have to warn people that um, usually I can get things up the same day as a BSC because it's Wednesday and I go home. No. It's Thursday today, which is a shop day, which we never know how busy it's going to be. So, just before one. It I could be tomorrow afternoon yeah. or Saturday. Or this, yeah, it could be this weekend. So, but any of the things you see, if you, um, if you watch the BSC, like we get it up by noon, say, and you're like, oh, I have to have that, call the shop. Thursday, we're here till five. Okay, um, so that was 
Oh, needle gauges. I have I have one more needle gauge thing that I do want to show that is more of an accessory than a super functional thing. Oh, and I forgot to grab it. No, I forgot to as well. No, um, I want you. We're gonna we're gonna move on, and I'm gonna double back to it because I'm gonna go grab it. Liz is going to talk the next functional thing. Hello. Because, yes, because this these both have ways to measure on them, but what if you need to measure something that's over five inches? Yep, more functional stuff. So we've had these in the shop. We're going to get them up online. These are the animal tape measures. Um, we have them for four twenty-five. We have a little tiger. Oh, cute accessories, cute accessories. Just, and. They are 48 inches long. There's the tiger. There's the little piggy. There's a panda. And my favorite is the frog because it's his eyeball. It's his eye instead of his ear. And I just like frogs. And you know, frogging is a thing in knitting. Yeah. So it's yay. cute. So we have we have those. Uh -huh. And then we also have the into the forest ones, the woodland creatures, the woodland creatures. Mm -hmm. and we have some, and they are four seventy five, and these ones are four twenty five. So they're a little they're, bit. They're both under five dollars. Yeah. Think yep. about it that way. And these um, are those. Those you're not pulling something that's that's an object on them, but um, oh, they're sixty. 60. Mm -hmm. So they're longer than the the other ones. Okay. And guess what? You push their nose. You push their, their little nose. And be careful if you pull it all the way out. It will go back in, but you might need to coax it with yeah. your nose. So we have we nose. have the little pink owl. Uh-huh. And I tried to get more of these. They're back ordered, but we have what we have for right now. We have a little deer. So cute. I love these colors. We have a bear. Nice. And a little fox. And we only have two of the foxes. We only have two of the foxes and three of the owls. So I will keep trying to um, order the, the wooden creatures. Mm -hmm. We have an abundance. We have more than a whole pack of um, our little, our other little animals. Ooh, our little he's sticking out over the. <laughs> I love so cute. Oh, he's my favorite. Yeah. He's very popular. Um, I'll try to get more of the wooden creatures in as I can. So, um, so we have gauges. Tape measures. Here's the get. Here's the last thing I wanted to show off. Is um. Were we gonna do one more thing after that? That's yes, we last, were. That's the last needle gauge. That's the last. But yeah, this is our. I'm circling back to the needle gauge because I I got it and I don't want to forget. Um, the same people. Needle necklace. So the same people that make our wrist rulers, also make this needle gauge necklace and I have one at home. I haven't been wearing all of my necklaces. Here we go. I haven't been wearing all of my necklaces. Just you know pandemic times hard to keep everything clean. But for home wear, I wear it at home. See all those rings? See all these lovely rings. This is actually a needle gauge and it goes from it's got teeny tiny letters. I'm gonna try to show off on the camera in just a sec. One side the teeny tiny letters, say the millimeter size, and the other side, the teeny tiny, well, they're not letters, they're, they're numbers. Uh, the other side has the US number size of the needle. So um, it, it's, it, you could use it for crochet hooks. If all of these can be used for crochet hooks, if they don't, if they have a spot that will fit through. So like our likey ones. Likey hooks. Um, our Knitter's Pride, um, some of the Susan Bates metal ones. If it's got an ergonomic handle on it, the crochet hooks, I should mention, it might not they may not work in these gauges because those that that flat handle won't fit through. And some of the metal ones, you, you gotta you gotta check out what the end of your crochet hook looks like because some crochet hooks have a like, more, a slightly more enlarged head. It's the shaft. It's what I like to call the workstation which is between the hook and where you pulled it. That's the millimeter size that determines what size hook it is and what size your stitches come out to. So, um, but I digress because um, if I, let's see, let me take this whole thing out so you can see how long, how cute is that, right? 
it is a fashion accessory. It is not going to show up well against my shirt, but you can see where it hangs on me right there if I wear it. And it's a little too close for me to look down and be like, what's that? But what I tend to do is I know it starts at um, a US zero and it goes up to a US 10. So again, I could go, actually, I tend to go from the bottom 10, 9, 8, 7. Doesn't fit there, doesn't fit in the 6, so it's a 7. So I'm going to try to hold it up close so you may or may not be able to see. I don't think that the camera is going to focus on that. But trust us. I can try it's to way back in our in our Instagram feed. We have pictures of this. It's super cool. And it's it's just it's so pretty, right? We've we've had people come in and go, ooh, I love your necklace. <gasps> it's a needle gauge. What? That's so cool. Cause yes. you know it, functional. It doesn't yeah, it just looks like a necklace. Looks like a cool necklace. If you just yeah. So this is um twenty-five ninety-five. And I believe it's sterling silver. I'm going to have to peek under. I can't pull up the price tag right now to see. But I believe it's sterling silver. Um, so know that going in if that is a benefit or a hindrance to you. Allergy-wise, that kind of thing. But these are really cool too. And I'd love to get them up on our online shop. So now I have a reason to. Last thing that we're going to talk about today, and then it's almost 10 o'clock, so we have to get ready to answer phone calls and things like that. Um, Last functional item, this, these all kind of work together and they are all essentials to have in your knitting bag or in your craft room or in any room of your house. We had the gauges, tape measures, scissors. 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 Scissors are wonderful. So we have our favorites and our best sellers, which is why we only have a few in stock. I tried to reorder these two and they were out of stock. We have the Bryson colored scissors, different colors. They're my favorite. I have them next to every sewing machine and serger in my house. I have them in every yarn bag. Mm -hmm. I, I just, I love They them. are super functional. They come with their own sleeve to keep them safe and to also keep them from poking holes in things with the sharp end. And every color is a different shape. So the gold ones, we have tons of these right now. I'm gonna hold them up. There we go, to a dark area. Gold ones have a basic uh, shape. It's more like symbolic, but some of them look like animals, which is kind of cool. The purple, we have a couple left of the purple. I'll keep it in front of me. It's a seahorse. I think those are so adorable. Yeah. yeah. Um, the other ones we have in stock right now. We have the pink ones, which are a little smaller and cuter, and they are a flamingo, a little flamingo. They are absolutely adorable too. Um, the colors we don't have right now, we have red, which, you know, I blame Liz that we're out of, but she's not, not the, all my fault. She hasn't bought all of them. Close, but, but not um, all my fault. The, the red ones also have more of a geometric shape. It's almost like a heart or, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, blue ones are cats. are cats. Green ones are, were they the peacock ones? Kind of, Maybe. kind of peacocky looking ones. Um, I think that was it. Yeah. Yeah. So we have uh, two or three um, styles that are out of stock right now. Half of them are in stock. Uh, but, and, and those are just under $8, I believe, mm -hmm. $7.95. Um, some of the other ones we have in the shop that are super cute, by the, by the same Bryson company, we do have ones that look like little roosters in various colors. And these guys are also $7.95. Um, this one, is like a little a little fawn or deer, I think. And we might have some various colors. This one is not color dependent. Like we have random ones of random colors. These I might not put online. They might be like, ooh, I like those other ones. Cause it's hard to keep in stock what colors we have or like identify yeah. that online. Um, here's another rooster, but he's green. And then we have, uh, these guys are fish, but they're also different colors. So if you see these and you're like, ooh, the ones that were in the blue packages, again, they come in care with little carrying cases, talk to us. Call the shop, email us, because you might not find those on our shop website. Now, the other cool thing, well, before I go small, we have some of the DMC either marbleized 
or classic kind of the peacock um classic shaped almost like the stork scissors which are very well known in um, the sewing community so we have some marbleized and gold peacock scissors these guys are 925 and 1075 respectively so they're in a little higher price bracket they may be a company you know better and so if you're like oh i have to have my dmc ones let us know might get them on the website might have to call us um the ones i think are absolutely adorable i think you have at least one or two i sets have of these. i have two sets of them because i find they fit in my um tiny little uh sexy knitter tins premium mini scissors yeah they fit in the little tins they are teeny tiny compare them to the regular size yep. scissors which are still small um they are super functional take a look at i'm gonna put these on my forehead so little and itty bitty and cute they are almost Everything too small to poke out both eyes ages. yep they could be a self-defense mechanism but i think they're absolutely adorable super functional they fit in small spaces they, they are they're my favorite mini scissors like we have the mini snips but mm -hmm. sometimes it depends on how you hold those as to how you know they and snip. i just lost the package they have it to go back in oh it did um but those i find they're Sorry. they're very functional the, these they're are like, 1225 so they're they're the highest price of the ones i'm showing you but oh my gosh they're so functional. they're they're proper scissors mm -hmm. on a tiny little scale mm -hmm. like the scissors are smaller little than the snips. finger mm -hmm. little snips for tight spaces yeah. perfect these would be great for for sewers for quilters for knitters for a lot of different people so these are super fun and they're great for notion bags like if you're taking your embroidery or your needles with your knitting with you or crochet and Travis you have sucks. a little tiny notion bag that you just need a tiny little pair of scissors mm -hmm. they they're, may they're great they may be tsa compliant i know we're not flying a whole lot right now most of us um it all depends on who's checking your luggage because the blades are definitely small enough one of the things for tsa scissor compliant scissors is the blades have to be short but they're very sharp so it may depend on who's checking your luggage if they say oh that's fine or they're like mm, deadly weapon you know depends so um but oh my gosh those are amazing they're, they're yeah um so we've got to go i got to cut this not short because i think we've been going for about half an hour but um I love notions. We're like known as the notion shop here. And I'm fully believing and oh, I, last thing about these is if you're not into bright flashy colors, they're black. They're black. They're sleek. They're dark wonderful. and broody. Dark and broody. Liz loves them. So, <laughs> um I love notions and I'm all for notions being fun. And we have other things beyond this. So check with us if you're like, but I've heard about X, Y, or Z. We've had knitters check with us because they saw cool stuff online and we don't have it here. But nine times out of 10, we have some of the funky cool stuff here. Which reminds me, some needle keepers, we might have to show off some later. Stay tuned, that's a cliffhanger to keep you engaged. Maybe needle keepers will be next week. Maybe anyway. that hole won't be there tomorrow. Yeah, we have all this yarn coming in this week and next week. So, and we have to get ready That'll for- by appointment inside shopping. So we're gonna be tossing the whole shop and making it look more presentable because what you see behind you looks fairly presentable, but that's because you can't see all of this. Or this underneath yeah. everything. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we should have both come in yesterday. Oh it, rest is important. We'll we'll get it done. Okay. <laughs> A lot of pregnant pauses today because, um, not because I'm pregnant. Oh gosh, no, 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 no. Because we're off whacking out of schedule and I only had three quarters of a ginormous cup of coffee. So, yeah. yeah. So we're gonna say goodbye now, goodbye. We love you all, we miss you so much. Stay tuned to tomorrow's a to Liz and Rebecca adventures of my I told brain. you it's yeah it's, it's, not. it's Friday and we don't usually film on a Friday but we haven't given you two sideshows so we will be filming tomorrow and maybe I don't know if this is going to have any progress on it but I made a lot of progress on my audition shawl last night and I'm going to keep going and I need another ball of yarn so hopefully I want to start a sweater I kind of doubt it's going to happen because today's a full day Anyway, love you.
miss you. Please give us a thumbs up if you like this. Please share it. Please help people subscribe and find us because we want our Sun Dragon community to keep growing because now that you've watched this, you're officially one of us. So, one of us, one of us, one of us. <laughs> See you guys us. tomorrow. One of us, one of us, one of us, one of us. I can't hear.